Hi, I'm Andrew Corbett. Thanks for watching this video on Jeremiah. In this video, we're going to see how the prophets continued to reveal the heart of God through what God has done in his own heart. As we move into chapter 4, we're going to see that, that Jeremiah is, is pleading with the people to come back to God, to ple pleading with them to repent. And in the opening verses, it seems that they, they give lip service to repentance. And we're going to see that repentance has got to be much, much more than this. At the end of this video, I'll talk to you a bit more about how you can order your own copy of this, how you can get it sent to you regularly, and how it can enrich your own personal or Bible study group devotion to the Lord. Here we are looking at this section, and we could really look at this and, and see that Jeremiah's got a very simple message, and it's this, repent. Repent. In fact, I could, I could say it this way. Repent! And I'd probably be closer to the mark. Repent. So we're looking at the first four verses of Jeremiah. So here's one street evangelist who's got this board, and I don't know if you can see the details. Let me, let me read some of the details on this board. This is someone who just set up a like a sandwich board on a street, and it says, why do you, heart, that is, love the devil? And he's listed all the people that uh, this, you know, this street evangelist is, is trying to reach, and it's got homos, druggies, gangsters, feminists, Mormons, Buddhists, drunkards, Baha'is, Catholics, wife beaters, atheists, uh, New Ages, Democrats. Uh, <laughs> what's the other one? environmentalists, PKs, which is, I guess, pastors, kids. Uh, some of them need to repent. Abortionists, effeminate men. Oh, what? <laughs> Racists, uh, Scientologists. Josh, you listening to this one? Emos. <laughs> Government recipients, adulterers, fornicators, thieves, gamblers, Muslims, Jehovah's Witnesses, perverts, idolaters, pagans, loudmouth women. <laughs> Look, if you start to sense the conviction of God, just I'm just saying go with it. <laughs> Agnostics, liars, freeloaders, liberals, and this is my particular favourite, highfalutin, sophisticated swine sports nuts. Repent and believe in Jesus, it says down the bottom. Now, I don't know how many converts a sandwich board like that in the street is actually going to win to the Lord. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, our message is repent. It is. When John the Baptist came, the very first word he uttered publicly was repent. The very first word Jesus uttered after he was baptised was repent. If you return, O Israel, declares the Lord, to me you should return. We're just going to ponder this for a moment. If you, if you are going to return, that which is the word repent, if you're going to repent or return, O Israel, declares the Lord, you should return to me, to me, you should return. So uh, uh, repentance is, is literally this. It, it's, it's actually, um, uh, I think the Greek word is metaneo, which was what the Roman centurions would yell out when giving marching orders to their um, squadron of soldiers, a legion of soldiers. So they'd be marching along, da, 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 and then he'd yell out, repent, and they'd have to stop turn around 180 degrees and march back to him. That's repent. So you can see the picture here. The prophet is saying, there's God, you have done this, and you are doing this. And I now call you to repent. Stop what you're doing, turn around, and come back to God. So, the first step in repentance is acknowledging our sin and guilt. The next step is to turn our back on it. 
turn our back on it. It's to stop doing it. If you know, if you know that something's wrong, stop it. In Jesus' name. If you know it's wrong and you don't feel you can stop it, ask God for help if you know it's wrong. But here's what the prophet has been saying to these people. This is what they needed to repent of. Notice some of these things. Firstly, false religion. You see, they were, they were taking more pride in the fact that they looked religious. The high priests wore his garments. The priests wore their garments. They looked religious. And Jeremiah, a priest himself, but with a heart for God, says, Woe unto you! You're all form. You look like you belong to God. You look like you're worshipping. Woe unto you who are just religious. God is sick of your religion. And the prophet is saying, repent. Repent of being religious. False religion. Secondly, hypocrisy. Hypocrisy. I'm sure there's a degree of hypocrisy in my life, but I want to be upfront about it. I don't want it there. And I don't want us as a church to be hypocritical. Hypocrisy, greed, immorality. And really, of all people, we should lead the way in knowing how to repent. The prophet Jeremiah was challenging the people in these four verses. Turn to God. Make his opinion the most important opinion in your life. 